Hello. We're in Ireland with our B and B, have a cup of tea, and this is how we got here. Where are we then now, right this second? Yeah. And then we're going to go down to Timo, we'll mm -hmm. be over to Court, not to show me. So, there's nowhere open in Timo League. So now we're going to Court, Makasheri. Given the Swizzlers at the hotel. Mm. <laughs> Swizzlers? Is that what I call Swizzlers. If I stand corrected, they're called Fizzers. Fizzers. And a very good morning. Just outside of Timberleague. Lovely little B&B. &B. And now today we are going to head along the coast. We are going to explore all these amazing places. And we're heading towards Bantry. Chickens in the back garden. Nice little B and B. Great breakfast to keep us going. And now we're on our way. Galley Head. One of our first stop offs on the Wild Atlantic Way. We think we've picked a fine week to be here in Ireland. The forecast forecast is for dry weather for the whole week. It's 
spotted. Spotted two seal. There they are. That was crazy. Two seal in this sea cave. Welcome to Long Strand. And have a quick walk on the beach. So I wanted a swim today as well. I've brought my swimming trunks. Absolutely stunning beach. See why you can't swim in it though. Right, we're going to see if we can grab a tea to go. When we were planning our trip, this was one of the first places we marked off we wanted to visit. Always like a nice stone circle. All these fuchsias along the path. This bear is dated 1100 to 800 BC, the later Bronze Age. Bronze Age cooking pot. Only good for bathing in now. <laughs> if you want to get in. Well, back in the Bronze Age, they had a great view. Probably not so many houses and fields. in again for this magnificent view. The good thing about our rental car is that you can definitely see it coming. We should name it. What should we name our car? Comments below. Keys, keys, keys.
start the car up. And we're now heading up towards Baltimore Beacon. Look at this for a view on the way up. Wow. Now that is a beacon and a half. will demonstrate just how large this beacon is. It's crazy. That's pretty amazing. Lane's found a geocache but she's calling me which normally means one thing. She does want to stick a hand in a bush or a hole or under a rock and she wants me to grab it. It's very cobwebby. Yeah. It could be a trunch, yeah. All in a day's work when you're a geocacher. Oh. Ta-da! I have to say, we are really enjoying Southern Ireland's coastline. I think our route now is going to be taking us in the distance and towards the north. We've actually pulled up into Baltimore village itself. Village, town, looks very pretty. I saw this place on television. Adrian Dunbar came here, did a TV programme I think on BBC. So to get to the bridge it's £7.50 each and today it closes at half four. It's quarter past three now. And here's the famous Meisen Bridge. If you don't have a head for heights, this is probably not recommended. Wow. And this is what I mean. Oh my goodness. Don't look down.
Irish whale sighting. Over 20 species of the world's whales and dolphins have been recorded in Irish waters. Wonder if we'll see any, because there's a lot of ocean out there. There's plenty of buildings and exhibits to look at, but if you're like me, I'm here for the views. Well needed after all this walking. Good morning from just outside of Bantry. This is our view from our bed and breakfast. We're just about to leave. Lovely bed and breakfast just outside of Bantry as mentioned before. And the gardens are grand. Okay, on our way. We've just filled the car up with fuel. Oh yes, it's full of fuel. And now, uh, oh my goodness, can you see that view? It's a beautiful day in Ireland. Simon. Hello, good morning. How are you today? Good, thank you. Did you enjoy your Irish breakfast? I did. Okay, we're heading for this peninsula. It's appearing on the screen. for five minutes and we've already decided to stop. That's an amazing view. Another pull in. Early on in our travels, to capture another crazy view. So this is where we are at the moment. Virtually every bend, we do get these sorts of views. Quite magnificent, really. We want to have an overlook of Dursley Island. Well, at Dursley Island, we want to grab a view of the island. So we need to head that way. Caution ticks grand metal style and our route is marked out the little yellow posts
this is the Garnish Loop, which is opposite Dursley Island. Nice little hike, especially when you know you've got this for a view. And it is taking us to the top of a hill. There she goes. Wow. Over there, all that peninsula there is part of the Ring of Kerry. We're going to be heading today to the edge there. They normally have a cable car down there to take you across. But as you can tell, it is closed. Looks pretty dismantled for where I'm looking. Beach. We've got Dursley Island in the distance. So once you've had a look at Dursley Island, if you want somewhere to rest and enjoy the views for a while, perhaps grab a coffee, come to this beach. Not bad at all.
like Sneem Snow. Snow. <laughs> <laughs> We like Sneem so much, we thought we'd stop. We thought we'd stop and get an ice cream. Grab an ice cream. And Sneem. <laughs> and Sneem. Because it's lovely and sunny. I'll have that ice cream, thank you. The Greenhouse Curiosity Shop. Well, they do you swirl the ice cream here? Looks like it. And we get our ice creams. Mmm. There's our trusty motor, Ladybug. <laughs> Simon decided that. That's the name. Red and white. Yeah, looks like a, a ladybird. Ladybird bug. Some more views. So we've just pulled in. Currently there. And we are heading somewhere in that direction. Nice pull in to admire the views. We stopped off again. Derry Nain Bay. I have pronounced that correctly. It's a beautiful little beach, very peaceful. Just walk through the sand dunes to this other beach. But I think it's all part of the same bay. Again, delightful. We've come up onto a little hill to film how the beaches are stretched out over here. And there we go. beach that we've just come from. Nice view from up here. up in Waterville. I'm looking for somewhere to eat. Very nice beach though. Nice town and bay. We've pulled in on the way to our bed and breakfast. This is a virtual geocache and it tells you about the 
a couple of little islands which featured in rather a large movie. <laughs> Skellig Michael, a little Skellig, if I've pronounced that correctly. And Star Wars The Force Awakens was filmed on those islands back in 2014. Mark Hamill actually stood on those islands. Good morning. It's the start of the weekend, it's Saturday. And we're off. Luckily, this isn't our mode of transport today. This is. Right. Kerry Cliffs. On this fine Saturday morning, we are walking to the Kerry Cliffs with the first ones here. Quarter past nine in the morning. Where we arrived, not a soul around. Oh, yes, start from the right. Room your experience of the vice. Hey, okay. follow those instructions back there, and we're heading right. Over there is Valencia Island. Over there is Valencia Island. And we'll be driving over there after we've finished here. So yeah, there's a little bridge that'll take us across to the little island there. So we'll be doing that a bit later, but first this. Over there is Puffin Island, and over there are the Skellig Rocks, where, as mentioned not so long ago, Star Wars was filmed. Stunning views. Our B&B that we stayed last night somewhere over there. And we'll be heading back that way, the north part of the Ring of Kerry later on. So we're following the recommended route from right to left.
Let's cross the bridge at the visitor centre. Have a look. Parked up for two euros. We can do a walk. We're going to walk to Signal Tower. Feeling energetic. Geocorn Cliffs. At the moment we're doing this part. So way in the distance over there is the Dingle Peninsula. We'll be driving that tomorrow. If you ever want to see dinosaur footprints, this is the island to come to in search of a tet <laughs> tetrapod trackway. these dinosaur footprints. <laughs> no, I can't just go, oh, that's one, that's one. Just look at those uh, dinosaur prints that the tetrapod made all those years ago to be admired today. And there's an illustration of the tetrapod and those are the little footsteps it was making. Impressive.
just arrived at Kalani National Park and we're going to head for Talk Waterfall. to walk outside of the grounds of the castle you can go in for a fee we could just walk outside and enjoy the amazing views We've just arrived at our B&B for the evening and we're in Killarney. So we're going to have a look round and find somewhere to eat, aren't we? Yes, yes. hungry. <laughs> we are very hungry. Let's go and discover Killarney.
just park the car directly on the beach. This is Inch Beach. heading back to the car and we're going to continue our driving in that direction to the tip of Dingle Peninsula. Wow, so we're driving all in this direction for the next hour or so. Delaying the car, wave! And along there, where we were a few moments ago, is Inch Beach. <laughs> Me and Lane are shrunk on this pebbly beach. <laughs> We've just arrived in the town of Dingle. pub for every 40 people in Dingle. Fact.
park the car. We're right on the edge of Sleahead. And apparently the film Star Wars here. Location for The Last Jedi. Most westerly point in Europe. We're heading that way. Join the walk lane. Bit of a Jedi vibe. Use the force, Elaine. Use the force. I've got my own force. Oh, it was terrible, Chewbacca. <laughs> Top. This is our view. This way. Yeah. So Dingle's there at the bottom. However, turn around this way. This is where we are. There's the map. All of this is our view.
just turned up at our hotel for the night and we were in room 207 but they've moved us to room 25 which is apparently one of their bridal suites wow is it nice i hope she's not watching me while i'm in the bath after a hard day hiking and exploring we've got a lovely room good morning from bally row another beautiful start to the day so this has been our hotel very nice hotel but when we got here last night we parked in the lower car park not realizing there was an upper car park <laughs> so Elaine's waiting for me in the upper car park while I take a stroll down <laughs> the steps to the lower car park there's our little motor that's been so reliable on our trip these last five days with two days to go yeah those steps last night were fun after a long day exploring I think I've forgotten something what have I forgotten oh yeah Elaine there she is We're on our way. Where to first, Elaine? Gosh. Banner Strand, Simon. Banner Strand. Let's go and discover a new place. <laughs> first beach of the day. Banner Beach. B A N N A. Not banners in David Banner. Over there, stretching in the distance, is the Dingle Peninsula. Beautiful. This is a nice way to spend a Monday morning. It is. We're stretching our legs. I think. All that bacon. <laughs> I think we've had one too many Irish breakfasts now. <laughs> I think this morning's breakfast was like, oh, here we go again. I can't eat anymore. <laughs> oh. Let's walk some of it off. Group of ladies going out for a swim. <laughs> oh. oh, you've got your trunks in the car. Oh, I do, don't I? I? Ladies, <laughs> wait for me. <laughs> I'm going to join you. We've kept on walking. Turn the camera around. Where is everybody? <laughs> Not many wind brakes set up. Hey, where are we now? We're in Bally Bunyan. I'm sure it's not pronounced like that, so comments below putting me right. But it's spelt Bally Bunyan. And we're on Bally Bunyan Beach. A lovely ring to it, hasn't it, that? That's weird. Tell me that I don't stick to these rules. Bally Bunyan. This can't be right, surely. Another spectacular beach. We're in the second half of September 
2022 and uh, we've been blessed with really good weather on this holiday we've had sunshine every day way way in the distance are all the peninsulas that we have been exploring over the last few days we've left them way behind now We've just stopped off at this amazing castle, Carrigafoyle Castle, built in the late 1400s. It was considered one of the strongest Irish fortresses of its time. Let's go and take a closer look. Welcome to my castle. It's quiet, isn't it? Well, where well, there's a staircase. Hello. Uh, no, I think you go higher. Let's carry on up. I think you can carry on up anyway. There's another room and suite. And another room. Hang on. I don't know whether you'll see me from here. Hello. The steps go up even more. <laughs> Bit dizzy now. Oh gosh. There's lots of little nooks and crannies. Yeah. Oh, it's dark in there. Oh, I'm on the roof. I'm outside. Wow. Well, this was completely unexpected.
Is that car? These doors. Reels. You coming up? It's a great castle. Nice. I said I wanted to take a photograph of the rain. <laughs> she is. It's really cool. in Blarney in Blarney Castle so we can explore oh yes and we're also going to kiss the Blarney stone maybe <laughs> hopefully I think everyone else's lips have been on the same Ugh. it's supposed to be good luck let's go and take a look at Blarney Castle we have a map of the castle and gardens. I know it looks more like a credit card, but guess what? It opens up. So this is the map. We're still by the entrance. And the gardens look very impressive. The only problem is at the moment, there's a queue of an hour to get inside the castle. Probably because everyone wants to kiss the stone. Is it too early for a coffee? Mm. Only just. Tuesday morning, late September, at 11 o'clock in the morning. It's very busy. The castle looks impressive from here. We're not even in there yet. The Blarney Stone is up there. Right, where's the next person coming? Come on. So you have to lie down, lean back. There you go, someone's leaning back. And go on, give it a kiss. There you go. Yeah, I can have a look. Oh, look. 
Back in the queue. <laughs> oh, you get back. We're at the top. <laughs> we can get out. I've got to remove these. Okay. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Enjoy that. Yeah. See that? Right at the bottom. Oh my goodness. Right at the bottom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no cue this end. from outside where we were about half an hour ago or so we're out well Elaine hi <laughs> did you enjoy kissing oh, yes. the gap. <laughs> yep it works it works hey there's nothing like queuing for something especially when it's kissing a stone Some say it was she who first told McCarthy of the power of the Blarney Stone. Fortunately for visitors, she only escapes the Witch Stone after nightfall and we close at dusk. Definitely looks like a witch. Now. If you can walk down and back up these steps with your eyes closed, some suggest walking backwards, and without for one moment thinking of anything other than a wish, then that wish will come true within a year. went down and came back up again.
you follow him. <laughs> so I can take you back to the pine tool. You can see where you came out. This is a tomb portal. Wow. Main's going to discover where she came down and went back up again. Cup of tea for two. Well needed. We have driven to the coast one final time before we head back home tomorrow. Right. Or down to the front. After falsely joining a coach tour and getting into that fort for free. Just like walked in. Looked like one of the one of the coach party. There for five minutes. And walked out. So Elaine. Yes. Finally. Hi. Hi. Can we go home tomorrow. What's been your favourite part of the holiday? Driving around the Dingle. You see, I've got to say that's been my favourite as well. What do you think that is? Because we did lots. There's lots to see, and it was beautiful. And the ice cream was amazing. <laughs> and, and, and the, the coffee. Nice. And the fish and chips. And the mountain drive was nice. Views are incredible. It's all been amazing, but the Dingle Peninsula has probably been our most yeah. favourite thing. Yeah. And we've had perfect weather for the entire seven days. Yeah. It's only been like the last few hours where it's gone a bit cooler. It's still dry. Fly home tomorrow and then we go away again in October, don't we? Yeah. So if you want to see where we go next month, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Just arrived at our hotel. What's the name of the hotel? Oriel. Oriel. And um, we think we've been given the wrong room. <laughs> I don't think we've ever stayed in any hotel room like this. Absolutely. Okay, where should we start with? Wow. This is our um, bedroom. Uh, this is our bathroom. That's the toilet not the changing room uh, that's the bathroom uh, this is do you want to put the light on the light and uh, <laughs> for some reason we've got a dining room as well uh, and that's where we're eating later on